Hey, what's happening, babies? Elton McFall here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, looking at a 77 or 78 Ford Thunderbird. And I know that because they made this design for three years, 77 to 79. The grille was changed in uh, 79, and I don't think I've ever seen this color on any Ford from 79. This thing's all original. I think it looks to me like somebody painted those wheels, though. What is it you just said to me? Look at that, it's got T-tops. You know how rare that is on these cars? It's got freaking T-tops. These things come off. Wow. Oh yeah, seat covers. Now I must mention, of course, at this point that my grandfather had a 77 Cougar, which was one of the, of course, the reasons why I got into old cars in the 80s. And it was brown, chocolate brown, with an orange kind of interior. And it's a good thing it was brown because it was so rusted. These cars rusted like you wouldn't believe, man. Oh, yeah, and look at this. Here's a Chevy that I filmed back in the fall, and I accidentally deleted the video. <laughs> so, so this thing, considering how decked out it is, these, look at these bands here, these, like, straps. I think these are fake, Elton. I don't think these come off. What? I'm even we're looking at these straps. Was this, like, a Maybe. dealer option or what? No, no, I, uh... Oh, no, yeah, it does, it does no, no, those yeah, are yeah, pretty yeah, sure were a, optional. A beam in the middle here. It's a Town Lando. Yeah, Town Lando. Lando. Man, that's cool. Yeah, probably has a 351 in it. Very likely. Most of these had 351s in them. And since it's a top-of-the-line model, it's probably a 351. I think that was the biggest engine. Maybe a 400, but I doubt it. That's a cool car, you know? And it's amazing for you younger guys, what's interesting about these cars is that before that, they were even bigger than this. They were much bigger. These were downsized, and it's still a boat. I mean, look at the size of that hood. It's amazing. And the engine probably takes up half of it. You know, so. Of course. Of course. Hey, I got to record that. Ed was saying, like, you know, that uh, typical of all these old American cars, the, the hoods and the fronts were massive, but the engines really didn't take up much space. Ah, but on the positive, yeah, they were also... They were, yeah, and they were also safe that way because you had so much... The, the fenders and the hoods were so broad. Yeah. And not only that, look at the, the, the space you have between the bumpers and the, and the front headlights. So they, they were kind of safe in a way, too. Well, if you this hit... has the 5 mile per hour bumper. Right? Exactly. So, exactly. And it has these plastic inserts. Yeah. So, and this all pops That's out. right, that's and right. And, and if so you, you can bang in there and it won't crush you. Yeah, and, and the bumpers back. will retract backwards. They have shock absorbers under the That's bumper. right, that's right, you know. And, of course, your classic concealed headlights. Yeah. And we might as well take a look real quick at this bo uh, Fox body here from the 70s with the Toyota wheels on it that I accidentally deleted the video last fall there. I had too many videos, and I was afraid I was losing. I thought my computer was going to crash because it's over 10 years old. And Anyway, so this truck obviously was repainted. Good shape. Oh, it's got a nice interior on it. Really nice interior on that, actually. Custom Deluxe, but I don't know why the hell would you put Toyota wheels on a truck like that. It's baffling. Nice looking truck. Bumpers on primer. It looks like it's ready to be repainted. Anyway, that's it, guys. Just a quick thing. I'm happy to see that T-Bird and finally record it, document it. Big fat American gas guzzler that I love. Earth killing machine. And unfortunately, cars they'll never make again that amazing. So a lot of people would look at these cars and say, oh, it's a big gas guzzling piece of junk but no to me and ed they're they're part of our youth and they're uh they're works of art really you exhaust this thing. oh i'm not surprised i'm sure somebody must have put money into this thing yeah why new not it doesn't it strap. doesn't have any rust new gas tank strap. Yeah, the chrome is nice it's not yeah. dented original paint but those straps i've seen this somewhere before i don't know it's interesting looks like it has an interesting history you know. They call it neo classic, right? The neo classic. Uh, neo classic. Like to bring back the 1930s. Right, and, right, you right. Know, yeah. The, the trunk with the strap. Yeah. And, you know, but they just <laughs> doesn't make any. Somebody, sense. somebody pimped her out. That's what they did. Yeah, yeah but it's it's factory. It's factory pimping. Yeah, sure.
Uh, well, that's the thing. I'm not sure. This that wasn't the, brought to. I, I'm not. Life. I'm not positive that the straps were, were factory. They could have been a dealer thing, but the the T tops. That's the first time I see that on one of these cars. Usually, you see that on a Trans Am or a Camaro, or a Monte Carlo, even. You know, interesting. And that Chevy is too, uh, nice too, but I don't know why in the hell would you put uh, Toyota Mag wheels on it? I don't, I can't figure that out. Yeah, look closely. Look at the hubs. Thanks for watching.